Well, here you find us at the True Special Needs Centre down indeed would you believe right on the border of Monaghan and Tyrone here but it is Monaghan Day and we're delighted to say we're going to be going inside here and meeting some of the service users that's inside here they're all decked out in their Monaghan colours and they're looking forward to the big day Monaghan taking on Dublin of course in the All-Ireland Senior Football Semi-Final this Saturday evening So I'm joined here by Bernie McKenna, of course, who is the, the manager. I was calling you the Director General of the Special Needs Centre here down in Troop. Bernie, an incredible facility. Well, we think so, but mm. we are kind of biased about it. It's it's our facility. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, be, it belongs to the community. It belongs to the special people. But yeah, we are very proud of it. And I know a lot of hard work went into getting it here. It was years and years and years in talking and being built and finally getting the end project. It was, I suppose, Errigal Through Special Needs was founded in 2001 and the dream was that we would have our own purpose-built shelter. When we opened, we opened in the Heritage Centre down just at Errigal Church. We then moved to a four-bedroom bungalow and in 2016 we moved in here and it was just a dream, a dream come through. A lot of hard work, fantastic support from a fantastic community. As we say, it's not our building, the building belongs to the community and the people that put it here. Absolutely, and they make great use of it. And the thing about it, it's specifically built for people with special needs and additional needs as well. Very unique in that way. It certainly is, Sean. Um, I have never seen another one like it. Anyone that's been involved in the building or it, at any stage of it has never seen another building like it. Uh, it is unique and it's open for the community. It's open for our adult service during the day. It's open for our voluntary children's service that we run here evenings, weekends, when we are on holidays. Uh, because unfortunately, if there are adults in the building, we can't have children at the same time. So it's multi-purpose and it's brilliant to see it being used at weekends and during holidays. It really is brilliant to see it being utilised. Absolutely. And it was well utilised today because we're all decked out in our Monaghan colours. We're looking forward to the big game and uh, members of the Monaghan team, the management and, and the big local hero here, Gary Mohan and indeed yes. Ronan Byline with them there as well. Yes, absolutely fantastic. So it was. I have to say the lads, the service users, have worked extremely hard this week preparing for the visit and have been so excited, so they have. Um, you know, it was so good of them to come down and spend well over an hour, an hour and a half with the service users. It was brilliant. Absolutely. It was great to see the buzz and the excitement that was in there Definitely. as well and everybody looking forward to it. Everybody's looking forward to it. Everybody just can't wait till Saturday evening. Of course they're not. But listen, continued success with the building here. It's absolutely incredible. I know we got the tour of it here as well and people will be taking that in and seeing what happens and what goes on here. No doubt there's always plenty of little bits of fundraising and everything else going on as well. It takes it all. It does indeed, Sean. And I suppose at the minute we're planning to extend the building. Oh, very good, right? Uh, there are plans being drawn up at the moment. In six years we have outgrown the building. We didn't think we'd do it that soon, but there you go, so... We need a, we need more space. More space, and we'll have plenty of it around here anyway. You can utilise exactly, exactly. So that's See. the that's the next the well, next project. One last thing before we go, Bernie, is a trampoline behind here. I think the two of us will have to head towards it. I think you can go on ahead on your own, Sean. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, mother of God! It went down further than I thought it was going to go down. <laughs> hey, come on, all ahead! Oh, Pip, all right, oh, Pip, all right. Good luck. Good luck, Monaghan. I hope you win. We know in the county there's a lot of unseen heroes in the county that are helping yeah. people who maybe have disabilities or, or whatever. I'm sure you, you are in the privileged position and you will say that yourselves, but it's hard work. It's hard work. And listen, you are an inspiration to us. Like we've had open nights before um, where a lot of people from, from this, this community have, have come in and the players always go away feeling, you know what? You can get about the people that you touch in the community and what it means to them. But to, to see the support here and the innocence of it all, it so really inspires us. And, and thanks very much. Thanks for having us. So there you have it, folks. We've had a wonderful day here down at the True Special Needs Monaghan Day. We're looking forward to the big game on Saturday. One, one, one more thing remains, and that is what, folks? Welcome to Market Square Shopping Centre here in Carrick Cross. Super value here to my left. And of course, Stephen Golligley here to my right. Legend. Retired in 17. Stephen, you've seen some big days. This is a big one now tomorrow. 
and we have gatacticsboards.com it's your baby yeah yeah so we just after doing a preview there on the radio and yeah the excitement's building around the town you could f- see the boys in the coffee shop it's great so hopefully we get a good game tomorrow and hopefully it's close um we were disappointed with the minors last Sunday. We they didn't really get going. We knew there was more in them lads, and what a great year we had following them. So hopefully there's a big one for us tomorrow night for supporters going up the road to Dublin. Absolutely, we can go up with some confidence, even though you know national media would say probably we should stay at home. We might score one point if we're lucky. But uh, you've been in some big games where we were underdogs, and we talked about it on the radio. You used to go into these games in the bubble. Will, will it have fed into them? I mean, I know the lads won't be on social media and stuff like that, but they will have heard a little bit of ch- chat about this. Yeah, but having played with Vinnie Corey since I was a minor, I, he's, just, he's just a serious operator. He's a great way about him. He's unbelievable leadership skills, and I'm sure he's, he will have transferred that over to the boys this year and previous years as a selector with the senior team. So... The, the boys won't be worrying about underdog, overdog, whatever it is. They'll be ready to compete. We've two weeks rest there, and they'll be primed for the game. And I think we have a chance if 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 plays go right for us, we have a great chance because that Dublin team is nowhere near as good a Dublin team as there was say, five six years ago. Well, let's look at this. This is your GATacticsBoard.com, brilliant tool for any team. Let's see it in action. We've got Dublin. We've got Monaghan. The matchup, Stevie. Um, right. We'll go through. We'll go through the dubs first and we'll finish with Monaghan's strong points. So the dubs, Con Callaghan inside, he'll take serious watching and uh, Paul Mannion. They're two top players, as good as we've ever seen playing um, Gaelic football in this country. I would say Ryan O'Toole could be doing a one-on-one job and Conor Boyle. They're probably our two speediest, strongest defenders. So they will pick them up. The Dublin half-back line or half-forward line, I wouldn't be worried too much about them. I would see them as possibly a weak link. Sean Bugler, uh, Niall Scully and Cormac Costello they would not get playing on the Dublin team of 6-8 years ago I couldn't see that but they're in a unit when all the other players are playing well they will slot in but all in all you wouldn't be shaking in your boots facing the Dublin half forward line to me anyway midfield they're very very strong Fenton McCarthy will take watching a um, few key men in at the back Mickey Fitzsimons is a strong strong defender Johnny Small as good as you get um, Brian Howard really really good player but apart from that they're not star-studded either, in my view. OK. Kieran Duffy, usually in the full-back line. Will you think Kieran Duffy will move out to the corner and uh, or will there be a change there? I would say Kieran will go out more half-back line. Um, as I, f- yeah, I think Conor Boyle is more more speed and he would probably pick up a man-marking job on Con Callan because Con Callan is very, very good on the turn. He's strong, fast and powerful and he takes watching. Baskell, who was massive the last day, manned the match 2-2. He will take watching also, so um, whoever to put on them uh, remains to be seen. Ryan Wiley, possibly. Midfield, Desi Ward, will he go out in Brian Fenton, or who will, will there be a man marker on Fenton, or will we just play our game? Killian Lavelle has done some man marking jobs as well, and some big players like Ryan O'Neill as well. Yeah, well, Darren will start on one of them. Um, I would say Lavelle will go on James McCarthy as more of a man marking job because. McCarthy covers more ground up and down. He was flying the last day. He was probably man of the match with Baskell. Um, Lavelle, to me, has been an unbelievable player and a fine from on in his last two or three play, two or three years. He's as honest a player as you get. And that's, from a Monaghan supporter now, that's all you want in a player, to give it your all every day. And Killian certainly does that. John Small, bit of an enforcer. Could he be uh, tasked with maybe stopping the, the runners, either McCarthy or O'Connell? Dublin will be aware that's our threat, I think. 319 came from that half back line in championship football this year. Yeah. Uh, quality player John Small plays on the line, on the edge, over the edge. Has been lucky over the years. Not getting sent off. Mayo would have won the All Ireland in, was that 18? Okay. He was so, I think he broke a man's jaw and got away with it home with Lachlan. Dublin would have not have won that day. So he's been lucky, but a quality player and we'll take watching too. Quickly before I go, Gary Mohan, Carl Gallagher, we have a full forward line, that full back line of, of Dublin. They haven't conceded a goal this year yet, but they've been talked about being vulnerable. Can we get any change out of that from the long kick out over the top? Yes, I think so. Um, Gary was very good the last day. Probably the best game we've seen out of Gary Mohan since he's come on the panel this couple of years there. I think he got three from play. Um, Carl Gallagher has done well this season, and I think there's more in him. He doesn't look out of place. He looks athletic, he looks the part, and I'd say 
there's better days to come ahead uh, with Carroll. Okay, Jack in here. Jack has had some great days against Dublin. He'll be confident going into the game and driving up the road to Dublin tomorrow. So hopefully a big one from Jack. And I think Monaghan's key area is our subs. Okay, and if we get them right in our timing, our best player this 15 years and the best corner forward in Ireland this 15 years, Conor McManus. Okay, we know what he's done the last day. We know his capabilities. Manzi, Sean Jones, massive potential there, a goal man. Okay, Conor Leonard has been injured a lot. I see massive potential in Conor as well. And Kieran Hughes, you telling me there's not 20 minutes of good football in Kieran Hughes yet? I think there's a big power to play for Kieran here maybe tomorrow. Okay, one word, Monaghan or Dublin? Monaghan. You heard it here first. Monaghan. Well, the party's certainly going, the music's playing. It's Monaghan Day. It might be damp outside. It's not dampening our enthusiasm. The spirits is up. We're looking forward to it. Monaghan taking on the dubs in Crow Park in the All-Ireland Senior Semi-Final. And we can't wait. Thanks Johnny, I'm just going to dip in out of the rain here, so I am, and look at him into the McMahon Centre here, look at this, the music and the party is underway for Monaghan Day with us here, so it is fantastic, I see the Monaghan Buns are doing the rounds here as well, so they are absolutely brilliant, I'll get a word maybe a one or two who their favourite players is and such like as well here, what do we say, here's a young lady digging into a bun, I'm going to ask you, oh that's a lovely big bun, who's your favourite player on the Monaghan team? Um, Connor McManus. Connor McManus, and yourself? Gary Mohan. <gasps> Gary Mohan. We're in Scotstown, but who does Gary Mohan play for? True. Who's the better club, Scotstown or True? True. True. Oh, that's brave talk, I can tell you. Yourself, who's your favourite Kieran Bonham player? Kieran Cuse. Kieran Cuse, just out the road. And yourself? Gary Mohan. Gary Mohan, another true woman here. There's a lady in at the back. Where do we see? Who's your favourite Bonham player? Kieran Cuse. Kieran Cuse. And what's his brother's name? Darren Cuse. Darren Cuse is right. And this young man here, what's who's your favourite Monaghan player? Darren Hughes. Darren Cuse. He's got lovely buns there. Are they Monaghan buns that you've got? Yeah. Are they nice? Yeah. They are indeed. Thanks a million to the musicians in the background there as well. Keeping us on our toes and flying. So they are. I'll get a quick word. I see Ben over here. Father, of course, of our number one custodian, Rory. Ben, big, big evening or big day of the weekend. Look forward to it in the Beggan household. Big evening is right. Uh, big day tomorrow. And... Uh, for everybody around here and you can see all them young kids there and the amount of Rory fans that are in so it's big for everybody it's certainly big for us you know we're we've only been in five of Ireland finals in my lifetime and three of them we've played in them so it doesn't get any better than that for us it does not as a parent do you be nervous now when you be sitting up at Crow Park tomorrow no, you do you'd be very nervous there's no doubt about it you're always wondering will that day will that minute come when the goals will start going in you know or will Rory slip and uh, maybe get chipped that'd be my biggest fear you know that he gets chipped or something, you know. But he's he's old enough and he's shrewd enough now, and he's uh, to take 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 on that mantle now that he's uh, that he has that he has done over the last number of years and improve it. But he's going to need everybody in top notch tomorrow, top top of their game tomorrow. To be able to it. Absolutely, I know when you played both at club and, and intercounty level, obviously from your stature at that time, a midfielder was a midfielder, and that's where you were normally positioned. The odd time you'd go in maybe to the to the forward line and bang over points. You were making a note to me, 1985. What happened? Oh, in 1985 when we were playing, oddly enough, it's, uh, it, it coincides with Rory's uh, penalty saves last week. He had 38 years near enough to the day, and uh, I, I was uh, we were a point down with going into injury time. The ball broke, got it. I said, well, well I do, go for the goal, go for the point. Went for the point, got the equaliser, put them out the next day, beat them the next day. And 38 years on, Rory has two penalties to save to get us into an All-Ireland semi-final. So, you know, when we went to the All-Ireland semi-final that year too, I was 85. So... Uh, Oh, this is great times. It's it's great it's great times to be a Monaghan uh, uh, supporter and that, you know. Like with the pool of players that we have here, I was very interested in Ryan Wiley's comments last night. He says, we're so condescending towards Monaghan and every paper you read, oh, they're lesser and lesser. Soon, soon there'll only be the 15 players living in Monaghan. That are and, and the amazing thing is, but that's probably the best way to have Monaghan going in. Completely written off, complete underdogs. It's the perfect, perfect, you near think, ambush or trap to set. Absolutely. Monaghan are exactly where they want to be, you know. They're, they're there. Everybody's writing off. Every comment, every paper you read, oh, Monaghan are no business here, Monaghan no business there. But remember one thing, Monaghan are there. Yeah. And they're always on their Mayos and everybody else. They're not there anymore. So they're not. Uh, and they're not there for a reason, because they were beaten. And the throne, who only won in Ireland two years ago, couldn't even make the grade this year at all, you know. And... Uh, 
But we are there, and we are there in merit. And I'm telling you one thing, tomorrow Dublin needn't think that they're just going to turn up and, and wally us out to the gate like they did in 14 and 17. It's not going to happen. I tell you, they like the day, and that's a great evening. It is, absolutely, yeah, with the rain that's falling here. Well, look, enjoy the journey up, enjoy the occasion, and here's hoping maybe we'll be meeting here in front of the Cayley Band in a few weeks' time in preparation for an All-Ireland. Absolutely. You'll see tomorrow the crowd of Monaghan people that's going up tomorrow. It's a credit to the, the supporters and, and everyone else. Tomorrow, you know, we've had... Last Sunday you've seen the crowd in Armagh. What is it, 8 to 1? Yeah. What will it be tomorrow? You know, we are great travellers, we're great supporters. Come hell or high water, it doesn't matter what happens. Just great to be there, Sean. It is indeed. Thanks a million to Ben. He's talking about high water. Well, the rain has fallen at the minute. I tell you, we're going to be taking a boat maybe to get down Jones's Road. And we will be there. It's Monaghan Day with us here. The music's continuing to play in here. Just gives you an idea. The buzz that's doing the rounds around the county here at the moment. And we're enjoying it. Monaghan against Dublin. All-Ireland Senior Football Semi-Final. Live in Northern Sound on Saturday evening. Now, so we're up for the match here. Of course, we're looking forward to the big one. Monaghan taking on Dublin. All-Ireland Senior Football Semi-Final. And you'll see him joining the company here. Sammy, I hope you don't mind if I go across firstly so, to our three-time so, All-Star, so. ladies not first, so. Neve Killen, All-Ireland winner back in 1997. I know we've been chatting and talking there for an hour. Couldn't believe how quick it went by, Neve. And at one stage, you turned around and you says, the hairs are standing on the back of my neck. <laughs> We believe the possibility that Sam could arrive into the county here. Two games more to be played. Absolutely, uh, Sean. And I think, as you said, nearly got up, they're nearly going up my back again now. The shivers thinking about it. But just as, as Nudie's reiterated to, you know, if we can really believe and really, um, you know, all put the shoulders to the wheel and, you know, the good management, everyone. And we know that the prep is going to be all done. Vinny will have it all well prepped in his management team and really feel that they can put up. But I think the big thing about Dublin is weathering the storm after the third quarter. If we're in the game at half time and we can weather that. 15 minutes after half time we're definitely in the dogfight Absolutely and the interesting thing was as well they talked about these new managers that come in and in their first year their debut year won all Ireland and that's what we have in our hands at the moment Vinnie Corey from playing into management Absolutely and I think a lot of people would have said that Vinny taking the job could have been a poison chalice this year, like because would, would you know obviously maybe on the on the edge of getting relegated. And Vinny has kept us up in the last kick, last game of the year again, kept us up, and now we're in an Iron semi final. And anything, the world is our oyster, and anything could happen tomorrow. Absolutely, Sammy, you touched on it. You've been following the game, following the championship, and you made a wonderful point to us here this evening as well. The Corrie brothers that were being referred to nearly as the Cray brothers there at one stage. The Corrie brothers, not by me, not by, <laughs> not by, not by, not by me, no, 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 not by you, not by me. Martin and Vinny, and, and you talked about that dynamic that two guys have yeah very, I mean as, as Neve alluded to before you come into a situation quite often not when you come to a club it's because there's problems at the club Neve is that right so they've come in they've come in to address the problems solve the problems and look what's happened and I think behind any good team you have a fantastic backroom staff and the thing about Martin and Vinny is that basically the, the blood, they know each other, they trust each other very well. I think we alluded to before in the conversation, there's a good cop, bad cop element about it. But I just think it's like everything else. To be a good, a good staff, you have to have like certain components. These seem to have all the components going together to bring a successful team together. And for me, I know people are being worried about Dublin. People keep on talking about Dublin, obviously because they're the, they're the opposition tomorrow. Add more concentrate on Monaghan. I've got to be honest. something is in the water in Monaghan because <laughs> <laughs> all the teams are doing well. The Hailing team, the junior sides, something is in the water. And all I'll say to you for me is that it's going to be a semi final. It's at Crow Park. The whole nation will be, will be watching. Anything can happen in fo cup football. And I think tomorrow, I'm hoping tomorrow, you'll see a Monaghan victory. You promise you shall come back for the All Ireland if we do it then. Without a shadow of a doubt, Sean. <laughs> shadow of a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. We have Sammy Lee coming back for the All-Ireland final, should Monaghan make it, and he believes there's something in the water. Welcome to Crow Park. All-Ireland semi-final day. Throw in at half five. Whether you're in New York, Newfoundland, or New Bliss, tune in. We're going to be coming live. Throw in at half five. We'll have coverage before that. I'll be talking to Desi Moan. We'll get the updates on what we're going to expect, the matchups. But just look around. Where else would you want to be in All Ireland semi final? Monaghan against Dublin. The hills filling up. Monaghan people coming in. Mead have just won the Tartan Cup. 213 to 14 points. We're hoping Monaghan can hit 213 today. If they can, I think there's only going to be one winner. Up to Farney. 
So here we are on Jones's Road, just ahead of the 5.30 throw-in with us here. Monon taking on Dublin. Take a look at that spectacle. Crowds are gathering in. Obviously, the Tolchin Cup's underway at the moment, so the Meath and Down supporters have made their way in, so they have. We're just here at the back of, I said, the main Hogan stand. Weather-wise, a little bit dull, overcast and cloudy. The rain appears to be holding off. Hopefully, it will do that for the remainder of the day. You've heard who we've been talking to here as well. They believe the weather could be a leveller in this one. We're believing. Monaghan's believing. Throw in at 5.30. Here by the McInerney family, just making their way in here at the, at the back of the Hogan Crow Park. Frank, great day to be from the county, isn't it? Ah, it's exciting, Sean. It's fantastic for Monaghan GA. And listen, you'd be delighted for Vinnie and the team. You know, if we, if we reflect back 12 months ago, this is a job that nobody really wanted. Vinnie grabbed up the scruff of the neck and he has landed us in an All-Ireland semi-final. Hey, it's special. We've had some seven days, we've had some couple of weeks, but the last seven days playing in, a, in a, an All-Ireland minor final and we're back in Crow Park today in an All-Ireland semi-final. It's just magical. It is indeed, and I know you're in the heart of it down there with the West Henry in the centre of Monaghan Town and the buzz, the excitement, even just coming up the road this morning, the flags, the good luck signs and everything else, you know you're part of something special. Ah, the colour. And, and as you say, all the signs on the end too. Days like this, you know, we don't live through enough of them. And hopefully, you know, hey, yeah, Sean, we need a bit of luck today. We need, we probably need to score a goal, contain that fall, uh, that forward line of Dublin's. It's going to be tough going for 70 plus minutes, and, and they have four or five buys to come out, come off the bench. But listen, we are where we are. We're in Crow Park, our Island semi-final. Let's throw the kitchen sink at it and see where it brings us. I'm just talking about the sink and all the water that's falling around us here. That's a great level, or maybe is it the conditions? Well, I think so because uh, you know we're up for anything, and and Dublin would have looked forward to a dry sod, a dry day, and it has thrown the cat among the pigeons, and hopefully we can benefit from it. Absolutely. I'm going to ask a question. Favourite players here. He's going to give me who who he's going to keep an eye out for today. Favourite player. Uh, Darren Hughes. Darren Hughes, good Scotch Town man, and yourself. Oh, one of your own. What about Manzi? Manzi, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, well, you couldn't go by him. At QZ, you'll be delighted he got in there first. And yourself? Rory Began. Rory Began, the big man. We were talking to the dad yesterday as well, so we were big Ben, so looking forward to it. So they are. Will you give us a big up on it here on the count of three? One, two, three. Oh, Buzz and the bounce that's been in the county, obviously with the Miners in an All-Ireland final last weekend as well. It's just been incredible and I noted to others coming up the road, the flags, the bunting, the good luck signs all out on the road as well. Yeah. The county's just on a high and we needed something just to lift us all. We do and despite the weather we're, we're, we're rising above all of that and uh, hopefully this could be our time, our summer, like you know to get to the next stage and uh, yeah, it's, it's a mighty thing for the county across all sections of our community. You'll see the blue and white every road you go. Uh, it's great for lifting the spirits. Uh, it's a challenging time, so, but, but no, it's great, great. And we say take every opportunity to embrace the good times like this. Joined by a young Monaghan supporter here. You're giving us a prediction. What's going to happen? Hey, Monaghan's going to win by five points, I think. Good man yourself. Well, that's the belief we need going into this game. And going to win the junior championship. Oh, it's fight and talk here on the Joneses Road. And I bet they're asking another question. Who, who's your favourite player on this Monaghan team? Conor McManus. Conor McManus. Will he get the five winning points? Yeah. Good man himself, young Cormac and Drumhowen to win the junior. Yeah. Good man.